welcome to another 123 Reg Swift 6. This week I'm going to be talking about six things your customers hate about your website. So the first thing are pop-ups. Now these were everywhere in the 90s, they were everywhere in the noughties, but you don't see them so much these days and that's because they've been proved to be massively unpopular for users. Now you'll see me elsewhere recommending to use pop-ups but what I mean by pop-ups here are those that get in the way of your website visitor doing what they came to do when they got to your website. If you're getting in the way of their experience, maybe they're trying to contact you, maybe they're trying to read about something, that's really going to put them off and that's going to give them a reason to hate your website. If you have to use pop-ups and they are a good way of capturing people's email addresses, particularly on blogs, make them subtle and make them only appear occasionally to the user. So maybe you want to hit first time users just once, maybe follow that up after a couple of weeks and hit the person, one person, sorry, not one person, but hit, hit your visitors just once more, but don't make them get in the way of the overall experience. So the second thing that your customers will hate about your website is a slow loading speed. This is a massive no-no. There's lots of studies to say that illustrate the point that a slow loading website will stop you making sales and in actual fact will make people leave altogether. I was just reading a study earlier today that said if your website takes more than three seconds to load then almost half your visitors will just leave. It's an incredibly critical thing to get right and that's why Google focus it focus on it so so much. They've made it a key priority that if you want to rank well on Google you have to have a fast site. Fast site is essential to a good online experience. The third thing that customers will hate about your website is when you ask them to complete a massive form. There is a direct correlation between the number of fields you ask someone to fill out on a form and the dropout rate for that form. So make sure you keep your forms as short as possible with the fewest required fields as possible. Unless it's absolutely essential, just take those fields out of the form altogether. The fourth thing that customers will hate about your website is a, a, a navigation that is unclear or that is cluttered. Now, you need to make it really easy and obvious on how to navigate to different areas of your website the, the principle you need to think about here is KISS or keep it simple, stupid. So don't let anything stand in the way of the user seeing how they can easily navigate from the home page into particular areas. Another tip thing to think about is don't try to invent a completely new way of people navigating to a particular page. We're all, we're all used to arriving on websites and seeing a logo up here, menu across here. Don't try and change the formula. People, people get that. They can use that as their map and find the content that they want to see on your website. So the fifth thing that people will hate about your website is if you put too many ads on that. Now you may, not th you may think that you don't have any ads on your site because maybe you are selling your own services on there. Why would you have ads for other people? But ads in this case are too much, too much commercial messaging, too much, too much of bright, loud messages that direct people away from actually reading about what you do and understanding uh, what value you can bring to them. So you're actually advertising your own services, but you're going completely over the top about it and you're coming across as a bit desperate. And people will hate that about your website. The sixth thing is a really obvious one, it's broken links or pages that don't work. It, there is nothing worse on a small business website to find a page that hasn't been made properly, that's been wrongly formatted, or a link that is broken that takes the user nowhere. It just, it just makes the user lose all of their confidence and it will give them a reason to hate your website. Okay, so that was the 123Reg Swift 6 things customers will hate about your website and I'll see you next time.